Cancer. Thank you for joining my channel. Today we're going to do your weekly reading. This is going to be May 4th through the 10th. Please remember it is a general reading. Timing is fluid and flexible. If you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. There is um, a video playlist link in my description box if you want to check out your other signs. So feel free to check out my videos. Um, also, you know, this is general, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take the re messages that do resonate with you. And then the last thing that I have for you, oh, I should say too, roles can be reversed as well. So energies can be reversed too. And then the last thing I have is I am doing a giveaway at the end of the month. If you're new to my channel, I'm giving away two personal readings to enter. You just have to subscribe and like, um, and you will be entered. I do a, a drawing randomly, like random selection. And I will do a winner's video the first week of every month with a angel message reading. So I will be doing uh, March, or you know, wait, April winners. I'll be doing April winners in the next uh, few days here. So let's get started with your reading. I'm pulling one card right now from um, Archangel Raphael. We're going to read this one at the end of the message. So if you want to hear Archangel Raphael's message, uh, we'll look at that at the end of the reading. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I am going to read uh, your note from the universe and then we'll do the tarot. So the first card you have is convince yourself, not others. Okay. The need to clarify, explain, or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self-serving. What's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need, because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways. Hi-ho, the universe. Okay, so Cancer, you may be feeling lately like you're having to explain yourself to other people or in relationships. But this message is coming to tell you that you don't, you don't need to do that. Um, it's your life. <laughs> you don't have to explain yourself. I know as a Cancer, I know sometimes we feel like we do. And, you know, sometimes like the message said, it can be self-serving. But, uh, but I always see it as because I am empathetic or em an empath. Um, I tend to feel bad about things um, if I have to tell somebody no or you know I can't do something then I find myself explaining why and I really don't need to do that um, or you don't need to, to do that so there's an example there for you okay so remember anything goes in this reading um, it is a weekly. It does not have to be just about love. I know for a lot of you it may be. That could be about career, finances, situations with family, friends, co-workers, etc. So just take it how it resonates with you. So let's get started. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Cancer? May 4th through the 10th. What messages do you have for Cancer? May 4th through the 10th. Cancer. Oh, Three of Swords energy. What messages do you have for Cancer? May 4th through the 10th. Oh, we've got that. Emperor energy. What messages do you have for Cancer? May 4th through the 10th here. Queen of Cups, your energy. Let's get three more cards, please. What messages do you have for Cancer? May 4th through the 10th. Death card. Seven of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. All right, bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Wands here. I feel like there's a situation here that um, I feel like opportunities are coming in for you, Cancer. I feel like your ships are finally coming in here. Um, I also feel like you're thinking about your future, where you're headed, where you're going, even. Um, Looking at a possible move here is what I'm getting. 
You also could be dealing with someone who is an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius that could be on your mind, could be planning something with or thinking about. All right, let's see what else you have here. Oh, yeah, you have the Lover's card. So there's definitely here you're somebody you're emotionally attached to that I feel like you're thinking about, planning, wondering what opportunities there are with this person. Doesn't have to be love, could again, could be somebody that you're just very, very close to as well. There may be some decision making as well. Then you have here a uh, page of pentacles. Uh, so there may be some good news coming in from this person. And then we have page of wands, communication, new start, uh, new endeavor here. Beautiful. So we'll stop there and let's get to your reading here. <clears throat> so the first two cards that you have, we have the Three of Swords and we have the Death card. So I feel that there may be, have been um, a past situation that you've done a lot of healing. Um, you know, there may have been an ending to something that was very, very hurtful here. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio or dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. They can be any signs, so don't get hung up on the signs. But um, this situation was very, very painful to you. I feel like you, you've done some healing, and now there has been a rebirth. I feel like um, you've gotten through it. It's over, um, and now it's about new beginnings for you is what I'm getting. So the next uh, two cards you have, you have the Seven of Cups and you have the Emperor. I feel here, Cancer, I feel like you have a lot of opportunities here. And I feel this could be with business, this could be with love. Um, but I feel like you're really trying to get things in order in your life here. Um, and like I said, I feel here you're thinking about your future opportunities. Some of you may be considering a home move. Um, you may be dealing with an Aries energy, could be, um, you know, this could be a love interest, um, or you're dealing with somebody who has a lot of opportunities here. Um, but I feel like this is more about you, Cancer. You may have started a new business, a new career, um, and I feel like you're really looking at all your options. That's what I'm getting. Then we have here the Queen of Cups, and we have the Wheel feel like, again, this is your energy, Cancer. And I feel here, um, things are definitely turning in your favor here. I feel like options are coming. Um, I feel here, I feel here good karma's coming. Uh, blessings are coming for you. I feel like whatever happened in the past here, you know, it was something very difficult. It was something very hard. You may have not understood why it happened, but I feel here, the universe is now uh, giving you the rewards for what you have gone through and what you have accomplished is what I'm getting. So let's get some more clarity. I'm going to pull um, some cards. But this is just beautiful. I think, uh, Cancer, you're um, in a really good place now. I feel like you're feeling good emotionally. I feel like you're more business oriented, maybe focusing on a business, or you're dealing with someone or assisting someone who has their own business is what I'm getting. Okay, so thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. Why is the three of swords here, please? Why is the three of swords here? Okay, we have the three of wands, the six of swords. Get one more card. Page of Pentacles. I feel here there may have been, um, I may have, I feel like there may have been a past, um, some past opportunities or a past person that you just got tired of waiting for, or there was some type of conflict. Um, and I feel here with the Page of Pentacles, I feel here, you know, there was this hurt um, that I feel here you walked away here with the Six of Swords. And I feel here that that, that caused new, or that, um, I feel like there was a transformation here, a new beginning. Um, you may have gone through a very dark, 
you know, difficult time, um, very hurtful time. And I feel like you really walked away from what you thought was coming in for you here with the Three of Wands. So you may have already had a vision of what you wanted or who you wanted or what you wanted to happen. And I feel like it never happened. So I feel like you kind of let it go. You walked away. You took what you knew. Um, you learned from it. And I feel like it really created a transformation in you, a new beginning. And um, here with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like you um, received, you know, some type of new opportunity or message or insight or skill um, that really led you uh, to move on from this situation is what I'm getting here. You could have been dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius, an Aquarius Libra or Gemini or a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo. Let's move on to the Emperor and the Seven of Cups. Why is the Emperor and the Seven of Cups here, please? Let's get three cards, please. So we have the Six of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. So yeah, there you are, Cancer. Very intuitive, empathic. I feel like you're really listening to your intuition, letting your intuition guide you for the future here. Um, kind of already know what you want and what's coming in is what I'm getting. So clarifying here the Seven of Cups and the Emperor here. I feel there was somebody or something that you were very emotionally attached to here with the Two of Cups. Okay. Uh, may have been this person that hurt you in the past. Um, or it could have been a thing, you know, a job, career, a business, something you were very, very emotionally attached to here that was very important to you. And I see here things were not in balance here with the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like it wasn't working. Whatever it was in the past, it, oh, sorry, my dog is barking. Whatever it was, it wasn't working in the past here. And I feel like this was very, um, very much a disappointment. It could have been a specific person, um, this Two of Cups person who disappointed you. Um, but I feel here this is an indication that things are changing. I feel here um, you're more in control of your life. You're moving forward. And I feel like this person that you were dealing with, they're going to want to work on things and they're going to want to make uh, things more balanced than what they were in the past because I do feel here that they care about you a lot um, So I do feel like they're going to make some effort here in the situation And I feel like your intuition tells you this already as well Because I feel you're not so much focused on what this person I kind of feel like you've let go what happened in the past and you're not so much focused on this person anymore. I feel like you're more focused on you. Um, just like it says here, convince yourself and not others. I feel like you're, you're, you're doing what you need to do for you and you're not so concerned about what everybody else thinks or um, is what I'm getting here. Why is the wheel and the um, queen of cups here, please? Let's get two more cards. Let's get one more card, please. Bottom of the deck, okay. So the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. Okay, it could be Taurus that you're dealing with. Okay, I do feel here there's some blessing coming, some um, something coming in your favor. Could be an offer of commitment or marriage from someone. This could too just be about um, you connecting to your higher self, also connecting spiritually, uh, really honing in on your intuition for the future. You could also be looking, um, you know, getting advice um, from someone who is uh, very spiritual as well or, or learning um, some spiritual teachings from someone. So clarifying the wheel in the Queen of Cups. So I feel like there was some uh, situation that you were going through 
um, or someone made you feel left out in the cold here, or you may have been feeling lack in finances. And so some of you, this can also be if this is about work and career for you, some of you may, may be saving, trying to save as much as you can right now, all right? Uh, and putting that away and very, being very thrifty. Uh, you may have a child here that you have to provide for. Um, but what I'm seeing here with the, the Magician card, you also have the Magician with the Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel here this is going to change. You're going to start manifesting um, all the resources that you need in your life. This can also be manifesting uh, this person that you want in your life as well. But I definitely see some movement here, possible move, possible commitment here. Um, but the biggest thing I'm seeing here is I feel like you're focusing on you, Cancer. You're doing what's good for you. You're not explaining yourself to other people. Um, or Spirit is saying you don't need to, to uh, explain yourself to other people here. But you have somebody here who's going to want to work on things with you, uh, whether this is business or love. So I feel like you're moving on past the past hurts. And you're really thinking more about the future and your stability is what I'm getting. Okay, so thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Cancer May 4th to the 10th? What messages do you have for Cancer May 4th to the 10th? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. We have, yep, choose a new direction. Wait. And forgiveness. Choose a new direction. So this fell with this past situation. I feel, like I said, I feel like you've moved on from it. Um, I feel like you're headed in a new direction. You're seeing the light. Um, I feel here you already intuitively know where you're going and where you're headed here. So that's just beautiful. I also get here, uh, this is a new message I've been getting from this card. As you can see here, there's, um, there's some people here in the distance here. For a long time, I never really even noticed that. But this can also be about you inspiring other people, people seeing um, the change in you and what you have done and what you've done so quickly in the transformation. So you may be motivating and inspiring people around you without you even knowing it. Okay, so that's just beautiful. Now the second card you have is wait. Okay, this is about um, not rushing into things. This is about taking the time, whether this is business or this is love. This is about getting the clarity that you need um, so you can make your decisions and so that you can make decisions where you feel good in your heart here, where you feel at peace and it feels good. And that's what this message is all about, is about getting the truth and clarity that you need, not rushing into things and doing things when it's good for you and not other people, okay? Convincing yourself and not others is so repetitive message there. The third card that you have is forgiveness. Okay. So, you know, five of pentacles, four of pentacles. This may be a situation where someone did feel, make you feel left out in the cold or, or unsupported or maybe, uh, you know, it was a past, uh, you know, mother or father of your children and they left you financially supporting everything or something like that, some financial situation. Um, so this is about forgiveness, letting it go. Um, doesn't mean that you forgot about it, but it's just about you being able to forgive this person or maybe even yourself. Because I do see here with the magician, things are, you are manifesting what you need in your life and the blessings are coming here. But you gotta let go of the past and you gotta move on and you gotta forgive. Okay, to help yourself heal. Now let's move on to the last card. Interesting. Um, from Archangel Raphael, the healing angel. And this is, let's see here. So the, the message that you got is called organic foods. Actually, let me switch hands here. 
You must be very sensitive to chemicals in order to receive this card. Archangel Raphael is recommending that you consume organic foods to eliminate and reduce harmful pesticides from your body. Most likely you've been getting, getting feelings or thoughts in the direction already and this card is additional validation that you are hearing your divine guidance accurately. Although these all natural products may cost more, they're actually economical investments in your long-term health. Studies show that our organic produce contains more vitin vitamins and minerals. From a spiritual standpoint, organic produce is generally raised with loving energy on small and local farms. The increased energy that comes from eating a chemical-free diet is a valuable benefit that pays dividends in many ways. So possible specific meanings, start an organic garden. It's time to replace junk food with whole foods. Use eco-friendly cleaning products. Use organic personal care items such as feminine products, makeup, shampoo, and so on. And if you want to say the prayer with me, it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting my desire to consume and use organic products. Okay, so beautiful message there, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, if you'd like to enter the giveaway, subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.